Hello friends, Nina here. Thanks for joining me today to create these fun bird house pages and stay tuned for the giveaway. I will be using the adorable Spellbinder release bird houses through the seasons. They have five die sets and one stamp set. They are all linked down below in the description if you want to check any of them. The first one here was the summer one. It has interactive doors that they open and close. Uh, also, this is the fall one. It has many shapes and styles of um, leaves and the pumpkin and also has extra pieces for the windows. And the spring one has extra fence and they, you can mix and match both the uh, doors from the other sets. And the winter one you can use for winter and or for Christmas. And it comes with this cute branch that you can also use to hang the birdhouse from. It also ha has the die set of six uh, birds that they're doing different actions. One is flying, one has closed eyes, and again, another style of uh, branch. And also it comes with these adorable sentiments. Uh, you are my tweet heart and so many fun stuff that they match with these. To start off, I'm going to start with the spring one. I'm going to go slowly on the spring one because the first one and for the rest, I'm going to go a little faster because it's sort of a repetition. Here I'm going to uh, dye my uh, nest and I'm going to back it up with another one that is cut exactly the same way, so it will be more sturdy. I'm going to, for all the pieces that I'm going to die cut today, I'm going to always ink the edges to remove the white edge and to give it some dimension. And for all the bird houses, I used foam tape underneath. I cut it again with the die cutting machine. Here again, I'm inking the grass that I cut with the grass border. And uh, same thing I did um, ink the edges of all the pieces of the bird house and I'm going to stick the uh, first uh, one that is the cardstock that I'm going to use to the part that has the fun foam. Here I'm also sticking two brown fences behind the grass to give some fun dimensions and to make the scene more fun. And here I'm going to stick my bird house with the um, Novo adhesive. I'm also attaching the door. I chose to create the door uh, from a different uh, die that creates a circle rather than using the die that was here, which is still adorable that I was just going for a circular one. And these are the birds. I'm going to cut them from two colors of cardstock so I can make the belly part and the wings a different color from the bird body itself. I, I decided to put one inside, peeking from the hole, and the other one is outside. And I put the nest inside, as you can see here. Um, then I did cut the word spring, the letters of the word spring, and I'm directly attaching it to the grass area. Then I'm going to choose one of the fun colors that match with the scene of the eyelets, and I did attach it with my crocodile. Here I'm attaching everything to the background. I did use a white background at the beginning, but then I changed it to this pink one. And this is the final look. And I'm also going to put some close-up images so you can see it closer. It is so much fun. And the dimension and the design of the bird houses is so just so genius. I did add some um, enamel drops. Here I'm going to start with the summer one. I'm gonna go a little faster. Uh, I did use my lawn fawn uh, wave border, stitch wave border to, uh, to create this wavy border. And then I did use the same exact idea of fun foam behind the birdhouse. Then I'm going again to ink all the pieces with the matching color of the inks. I'm using here uh, distress inks and lightly dabbing with my blender. I, de I decided to go with the striped lighthouse and red doors. The doors are interactive, but I'm going to make them just uh, not open over here. I'm going to stick them also on the to the background. And I'm going to add a yellow circle in the middle as if it's the inside of the lighthouse. And I'm going to put it behind the wave that I uh, attached previously. And it uh, the die set comes with this piece that looks like a light. 
I added it first before adding the top part. And here is the birdhouse. It comes also with some accessories to decorate the scene. This is an um, anchor and I used um, also a starfish or something. Yeah, I used a starfish. And the safe float. And from another die set, I used my sun with the sun rays. I cut it from yellow cardstock and I'm attaching it directly and just cutting whatever is sticking out of my circle before I attach it to the final background. I also, with the die set also, the, uh, the come these uh, sort of seagulls or birds. I cut it from uh, fun foam and white cardstock and I st stuck it together, together so they give some dimension. And then I cut the word summer using my uh, scan and cut machine and just decorating by the end with this little heart and some enamel dots again that match with the scene. Here is the part where I attach the inside with yellow as if it's the inside of the lighthouse and it is lit, looks like it's lit from inside. I'm using this my new uh, jewel picker tool. It is so adorable and very helpful. And here is the part where I attach the enamel dot and then I attach it all to the uh, blue background. That is blue J from Lawn Fawn cardstocks. Almost all the cardstocks are from, are from uh, Lawn Fawn. And then I'm going to attach another eyelid, a red one over here. And this is the final look. It is so much fun, very adorable. And these are some close-up photos so you can see it closer. Don't forget that all the materials and the tools that I use today are linked in the description below in case you want to check any of them. I also have a giveaway uh, that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. It's going to be this stamp set. I'll leave down below the value of this stamp set and how you are going to be able to um, win it. And I'm also giving some more details by the end of the video, so just stay tuned. Here I'm doing the same thing with the uh, this is the fall die set, but then I decided here to use many other cards, many yellow card stocks. To, I think I st stuck five layers or something to give it sturdiness instead of the fun foam because I didn't want the white edge all around my yellow house. So I did attach them all together with the glue. Here I'm using the honeybee stamps uh, glue. And then I cut the roof from a darker color, orange color, so they would match together with the theme of the fall. I'm taking my time attaching them here. And then again, I'm going to ink the edges with an orange colored stress ink to um, color the yellow part that is peeking from underneath and also to give the roof some dimension. I'm just lightly doing it with my blending tool and everything else is pretty much the same. Here I'm using these um, uh, die pieces and I die cut, uh, again I think a cardstock from Lawn Fawn, I'm going to link them down below, all of them. And I chose two shades of green and orange and red. Here I'm inking all the edges with a darker color from the stress inks. And sometimes I'm using brown, which is vintage photo ink, just to give the look of the leaf, the, the burnt edges of the leaves, the falling leaf look, the, the effect of the brown looks so pretty. For the pumpkin, I cut it from three colors, green and brown and orange. And I cut the stem and green and attached it to the, my orange pumpkin. I'm going to take some time here, but I'm going to edit it so you don't get bored with me arranging the cluster of the uh, leaves of the fall, of the different colors. And the pumpkins and also, oh, again, the die set comes with these nuts, two pieces of the nut, the top part and the lower part of the acorn. And I'm just going to attach them here glue them directly. Some of them I did glue with the foam, um, dimension with the foam and some of them directly to the background. And 
To give some fun look, I thought that the blue would contrast nicely with the orange and yellow. So I'm, I cut the windows from this um, blue color. And I'm just making sure here that there is no blue poking out, cleaning it. And then I cut the word fall from a um, die set, that is, a Sizzix die set. It has these letters. I'm going to link it also. I'm taking my time here to make sure that this is where I want to be before I just remove the tweezer and stick it. <coughs> and then I'm going to add my bird because birds do make, I'm, uh, migrate in the fall. I thought I'll make him uh, fly out of the scene. But just for a fun look. He's migrating, I guess. <laughs> Looks so funny. And then I'm going to add my eyelid again and a couple of orange hearts on top of the word fall. I'm finding the best place for the bird. And here are the hearts. It's these little touches make a lot of a difference. Makes the card just so cute. I also cut the little hearts, little red hearts, in the inside of the window and attached them. And I put this blue eyelet. And here is the final thing. I also rolled up the edges of the leaves so to give them some dimension. Look how colorful the leaves are using this technique of the Vintage Furo uh, Distress Ink. Just beautiful. And <clears throat> for our final page, we are going to use this um, winter birdhouse die set. And you can use it for the Christmas, for the winter, or for the Valentine. Here I'm going to go uh, more Christmassy than uh, than winter. You could also, I, uh, on the package, I saw them putting the green on top of the uh, roofs, but I decided to put it here next to the bird house with the poinsettia. And I chose these adorable colors of the of cardstock, two different shades of grays. I thought they will go great with these red and green colors. And I also found that they match my nails. <laughs> you can see the die on the top right of the screen. It cuts the bird's body and its tummy and its wing. And so you can mix and match with any uh, shades and colors of the cardstock that you like. Here I went with darker gray for the uh, belly and um, the wings. Oh no, the wing is the same color as the bird. It's a different belly. Look how fun and cute they are. And the texture on their bodies and wings, it's just amazing. I'm gonna attach them directly to the bird house itself using my honeybee stamps glue. And then I'm going to cut the branch again from green. And then I'm going to separate the leaves from it and attach them here and there on the branch to get fun color and dimension on the upper part of the scene. And then I'm going to add some enamel dots to the poinsettia. Sorry for my hair. It's really the start of the show today. <laughs> so I'm taking my time to make sure that they are attached in place. And I'm again fluffing the papers of the poinsettia just to give some dimension. Then I'm attaching everything with the tape runner to the background, which is white here. And the hanger on top is one of the dies that comes with the essentials, planner essentials. I'm going to link it down below. I added the word winter and this is the final look of it. I also added the heart that comes from the die set of the birdhouses. And I'm going to leave again the photos so you can check it closer. And here are all the uh, pages that I created today. And I'm giving another idea that you can put them together with 
I'm just trying to put them in order, actual seasonal order in this ring and you can close it. And here is a quick flip through. The spring, the summer, the fall and the winter. I had so much fun creating these pages today, guys, and I hope you did too. Don't forget to check in the description below all the details for the giveaway. I hope you had fun watching all this today. I will leave you with the close-up photos for all the pages. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. And I will see you next time. Bye!